morning, Beryl. first like really not very nice weather day we've had but we have been so lucky with the weather so so far that I knew it was only a matter of time but it just so happens to be the bad weather in the corner of the UK that's supposed to pretty much be the sunniest um, so today we're just um, doing like a little round trip around the southwest corner of Cornwall um, stopping at a few places on the way, going to see a few things. Hopefully everywhere we go will be quiet because it's such a, um, what's that on my cheek? A sauce. So <laughs> All the way up here. Um, because it's such <coughs> a drizzly day, hopefully everywhere we go will be pretty quiet. So yeah, that's the plan for today and we're staying um, at the Jacob's Ladder again tonight. And then tomorrow we're heading up to Wales. little fishing village I suppose or seaside village called um, St Agnes and the reason why we've come here is because there's some rocks out at the sea called the Borden called Borden Rocks um, obviously Borden is my surname so my dad's side of the family originated from this area but being the day it is you can't see very far at all but people are crazy and are still out there swimming and surfing and this looks like family day out on a day like today. So that's supposed to be somewhere out there. There's like a big one and then a smaller one next to it but obviously visibility is not very good today and yeah great day to be at the beach apparently. <laughs> it's pretty though. Really nice.
events. Um, we had some lunch there, as I think I filmed, and uh, went to a, oh god, this is a small rope. Went to a tourist information center where the lovely lady gave us directions to Menantol. Um, and we're on another really small windy road, but it's also really foggy today. It's quite creepy, so it might be a pretty cool day to go out there. Hey. Maybe. Yeah. How far is the walk? No idea. I think it's in a third of a mile, so we just have to walk up this path in the middle of nowhere. And I'll see the standing stones emerge from the fog, yeah, which will be cool. I feel like we're walking to our death. Just as it couldn't get any creepier, I don't even think you can see it on the camera yet, but. Oh, there's a cow standing there staring at us. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying. Oh, there's another one out there. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. You're beautiful. But look at the paddock. You can't see you're like 20 meters. Shall we continue? <laughs> Just gets creepier and creepier. <laughs> about these ones is that there's a legend that if you pass through this hole, I think it's about three or four times, um, women or men I suppose who have tried, you know, get pregnant or make babies um, pass through that hole three or four times they would help fertility or 
also suffering from any sort of ailment, um, like, I don't know, back problems or just like persistent pain, if you pass through that hole three or four times, I think it's in a certain direction as well, so you can't just go through anyway. Um, the legend is you'll be cured of those ailments. just stop it's dead still honestly I would rather yeah I'd rather have been out here on a day like today where it's so foggy than on a day when it was like sunny and hot back over the steps Honestly, there's nothing. It's crazy. I keep saying it's crazy, but it actually is one of the, like, what's the word? Indescribable. Yeah, indescribable sort of experiences in terms of walking and seeing a random standing stone in the middle of the fog. Bessie's having a lay down. Having a little snack now. I don't think I'm, oh yeah. There's two right by the fence there. Right there. <laughs> we were so lucky to get back when we did because it just started raining and we actually passed a whole bunch of people as we were leaving too, so who were heading out there, so um, we were lucky to have like a minute or two at the stones all by ourselves. That was that was just crazy, the the fog and like the silence and just seeing the stones emerging from the fog as you got closer was amazing. I'm very glad we did that. Are you happy? Yes, happy. <laughs> On the road again. Um, we are now off to the Minak Theatre which is like an outdoor theatre. It's on the edge of the cliff basically. Again, I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to see today because of this fog. Um, but oh, it's supposed to be... Shut up, Tom. Whoa. Well, you could have waited at the bloody turning. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be quite amazing. So, yeah, that's where we're headed to now. entry I think was at five so we would have only have been able to go there and like take photo um, which would have been pointless today anyway because visibility is like 20 meters in front so we're going to go back to are we gonna go to the laundry or? Um, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're going to go past what we think is a laundromat back in Falmouth. We've got all our washing in the back. We really need to do some washing. We think it's a laundromat, but we think it could actually be like somebody's house and you know, you give her, your, him or him, 
your washing and they do it for you but we'd rather just find a laundromat and do it ourselves so if it's not a laundromat we are just going to go back to the hotel and do some washing in Cardiff because we have we're not doing a lot in Cardiff for the two days we're there so we'll probably do some washing then and yeah so we'll just go back to the hotel maybe have a drink have some dinner and then I really want to have a shower shower is that okay yes. come upstairs to drop my bag off and I think Brendan's downstairs ordering some drinks I'm um, pretty sure we're gonna have dinner again downstairs um, at the pub tonight and I could actually do with an early night to be honest <laughs> recording <laughs> we just got back to our room um, we just had a boiga and some drinks downstairs there is a um, open mic night tonight in about an hour and a half so I think I'm going to downstairs that is so I think I'm gonna have a shower wash my hair get packed to go to Wales tomorrow and then if I'm feeling up to it We'll probably head back downstairs for another drink and just check out the local talent or lack thereof. I guess we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 